to record into cloud. So those that have registered, you will get a free uh, replay. You'll get this recording today. So I just wanna say hi, welcome to you all. Hello, I'll show my face for a bit. Hi, hope everyone's okay. And it's lovely to see so, such beautiful faces here today on a Friday, really looking out for their business and taking it further. Hi, hi, hello, hi, Addy. Gal well, it says Galaxy. <laughs> so welcome all of you. And I just thank want you. to say that, thank you. Um, I just want to say that you have got so many uh, opportunities coming to your, to you. You can do this from home as well. Hi, Eve. Hello. Hi. You can do this from home. It's a business which you can do from home. There's multiple different ways that you can get contracts. Okay. As business owners, as care providers, my, my methods and, and also uh, my clients' methods is, is that you must look at multiple different income streams in healthcare. There's multiple different income streams. You don't just stick with home care. You don't just stick with recruitment, for example. You've got to look at all the different avenues that you can provide staff members. You can provide staff members permanently. You can provide them temporarily. There's lots of different avenues. You can do training in healthcare. As a, you know, if you're a nurse, for example, you could be providing training to organizations that need your services as well. There's so much that you can offer to uh, people as well. And I just wanted to, to mention that to you. Don't just stick in one area. Look at how you can, as an organization, look at what, what the things can you provide. And I'm just gonna mute everyone so that we get the uh, recording so that it doesn't have any background sounds as well. Okay, so I'm just uh, gonna mute for one second because as people come in, sometimes they have their um, mic on as well. Okay, so welcome, welcome, welcome. And I just wanna say, please, 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 get a notepad and paper, write this down, look at what types of healthcare businesses that you wanna do. Do you wanna do home care? Do you wanna be a nursing agency where you're providing nurses, support workers into care homes, private hospitals, for example. Do you want to be a, an organization that is a matching service where you're providing personal assistance who are self-employed to clients in the community? You've got to look at all different avenues as well as um, just the generic ones as well. Think outside the box. You know, there's healthcare technology now that you can also be looking at providing. Uh, you could provide support with the virtual wards now that's happening, you know, providing nurses in the community to those organizations as well. GP surgeries, for example, there's lots of, there's 50, up to 50 healthcare business types that you can do as an organization. I'm really passionate about showing you and opening your eyes about what this is and what you can do and taking it forward because you, we're Hello. now in this new um, era now where we are providing. Oh, yeah. Let me just yeah. put the, make sure everyone's muted. Hello. Perfect. What are you doing? And this is why I was saying about uh, muting. Okay, so, because uh, otherwise we'll hear background conversations. So I just want it so that it's nice for everyone when you get this recording, for example. So like I said, get your pen and paper out. I've just mentioned some things to you about what you could be thinking about in terms of what you want to do as an organization. It's the weekend. Spend that time as well as, you know, family time as well. Spend that time thinking about well, what type of agency do I want to do? And have a five-year plan of what that's going to be. You don't have to implement it all at one go. You can do it over five years. Start with one and get strong. And then you move on to the next thing. 
you may want to implement three uh, types of healthcare organizations. So I hope that you find this useful. I'm just gonna drink my water. And I just wanna really make it so that we're all supporting the healthcare organizations, the NHS, the government, people in the community, the vulnerable people in the community providing the best service as an organization with having compliant staff. Yes, of course, that's important as well. But you as a provider need to be aware that only there's only 15% of providers that are providing um, the future, i.e. healthcare technology, for example. And I want you to be aware that you, as a small to medium-sized enterprise, can provide that as well. You know, the Richard Bransons and all the big organizations, they really are on it, but you as a small company can also provide that as well. And I want you to do the same, okay? So I just wanted to mention that. So uh, as people are coming into the room, I just wanna say welcome. So welcome to the NHS, how to get uh, contracts, for example. So after spending over 20, 20 years uh, without the support of a mentor, with no one else to turn to, I knew that I needed help with setting up my own care businesses because I started 30 years ago and I did this for 20 years doing healthcare businesses, multiple ones. I did mother and baby unit, um, care home for the elderly. I started off with my own three bedded care home in Nottingham. And this was on a council estate as well. You know, nothing is impossible if you've got the mindset and you implement. If you don't implement, then if you do nothing, then you get nothing in return. So you've got to action, you've got to really take some action. And I did that. Although I got a mentor in from the um, a large organization in the UK, and um, I was the one that actually showed him how to get contracts. And I ended up taking him on as one, as, as one of my staff members after paying uh, 5,000 pounds. And that was back in, uh, that was 20, 20 odd years ago. So, you know, but you know something? I learned something, no matter how small it is, I learned something. It was an eye opener to make me realize that, hey, I can actually do this. I was a trainer, you know, teaching at the, the colleges in uh, the UK. So for example, Brighton uh, Technology College, I was also Chichester College. I was also going into NHS hospitals as well in the lecture theaters teaching as well. That's where I first started to go into the healthcare market. And then I thought, mm, I can do these policies oh, I can do this, I can apply for contracts. And I was winning and I thought, you know what? I'll do this for myself. And that's where I started. But I knew that I wanted to coach and train people, but I thought I needed to actually experience it for myself as a business owner so that I can really help entrepreneurs as well as care providers in their healthcare businesses because how can I coach someone if I don't know about healthcare business? You know, so that is the, the key for me doing what I do today. It's about training you, it's about, I'm, I'm about transformation. I'm not there for you to sit there. This isn't a TV show, okay? This isn't EastEnders, it's not a soap opera. This is real life business. And when you come to watch me, I want you to be there with a notepad and paper or Word document and type as I'm talking to you because you will get a lot of information. Okay, so please, please, please do work on things. Don't just listen, get the recording, listen again, and then it gets shelved on your computer. I want you to all action. So I can show you how to get contracts through NHS, care homes, and also in the community. And don't miss the opportunity to learn how to employ 
sorry, apply for contracts. Now, I'll just mention something to you. Out of uh, one of the new programs that I've got, which is about NHS contract section, which we were covering. Now, one of the attendees, after listening to my training, went out and implemented what I'd asked them to do. And they got two positive leads. You know, that is just amazing. And that's what I like. I like to see when I've taught someone something that they implement it. Because that makes me feel good. It makes you feel good. And you learn, you develop, your brain just grows. You get things out of your head on paper or on your computer, for example. But you're growing and developing at the same time. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out to you. So I'll show you today how to build a database of potential clients. Now, some of my clients have had recruitment agencies for years. And, you know, there's a lot of things that they don't know. That's why they've come to me. But it's been such an eye opener for them because having a recruitment agency doesn't mean to say you stick in that peg hole. That's where you stay. No, you're meant to do other things like home care. You're meant to do other things like matching services. You're meant to do other things like living care. You're meant to do other things like supported living, like what I did. You're meant to do other things like children's homes, for example, semi-independent unit. You know, that you just keep growing and growing with your business. And this is how you do it. But you've got to realize what type of service do you want to do? What to, do you want to do to begin with? Obviously, you're going to have a list, but you need to think about where you're going to start. What age group? Will it be 18 to 65 or will it be 65 plus or 18 to 24, for example? Some independent unit, children's home. Will it be or children's services? Will it be, you know, under 16, for example, or 16 to 18? You need to really sit down, think about what resonates with you best and then start from there. You know, what comes to your heart. I'll just minimize my box so that um, I can see the, the slide. Uh, one of the ways as well to find contracts is Contract Finder. Drink my water there. So Contract Finder, you'll need to create an account. This is where you can look for contracts which are lower value as well as higher value. Now, when I first started, I wasn't going for contracts that were 2 million, 5 million, 10 million. No, I was going for contracts which were small, lower value contracts. And what I did is each um, one was like 150,000, 200,000, uh, even 50,000. I didn't turn down anything tell you the truth and as I had those uh, ones they added up and it worked on volume and then you imagine having say 10 small contracts which are 100,000 that's 1 million turnover and that's how you get to seven figures don't try and jump to the big ones straight away look at the smaller ones and get those as a small to medium sized enterprise, yes, you can go for, for the bigger ones if you are able to, depending on where you are in your business, for example, but look at multiple ones and get in those contracts and then they will build up to, to where you can apply for the big contracts, where you become a medium to large organization, for example, 500,000 a year turnover. So look at Contract Finder, create an account there. And um, it is public. Uh, there's also Public Contract Scotland. There's also Wales, Northern Ireland. So Contract Finder is um, on here as well. And I'm going to click the link, which should be on the next page here. And then I'll share the link with everybody, because as I'm doing things, Try and practice it as well, okay? Because then that way you're getting into the habit of practicing. So this is uh, contracts that let you search for information about contracts worth over, say, £10,000 with the government and its agencies. And you can use Contract Finder to help you search for contracts. 
there's all different factors as well. You may want to provide um, uniforms. You may want to provide um, medical equipment. You may want to provide um, uni uniforms, PPE, all different things, social workers to organizations as well. So look at the keywords, you'll need to submit those keywords, like for example, health support worker, recruitment agency, like I've got here on my screen. Just wanna make sure that you can see what I am looking at here. Um, as I've got the keywords here, nursing agency, home care agency, supported living, enablement. Those are the keywords that I've used. And if at any time, any of my staff members, if you can't see my screen that I'm sharing, please let me know. So I'm gonna click the link here, which is www.gov.uk contract finder. I'm clicking that and then it should open up. Now I'm just gonna share the page just to make sure. Yes, you can see. And this takes you to Contract Finder. I'm just gonna put the link in the chat box so that everyone can also click it as well. You're welcome. So the link is there. And I hope everyone's keeping hydrated with this hot weather that we're having as well. I've got lemon water, uh, sorry, lemon water with orange and cucumber. It's very nice. It's good hydration, but it's also good for you as well. So uh, my team is gonna let um, the attendees into the room. So this is Contract Finder. So Contract Finder, like I said, it helps you to search for contracts in different sectors as well. So I'm just gonna click start now. So this then takes me to this page here, which I just wanna check, make sure everyone can see, excellent. So this takes me to this page here and then I have to then put the codes in you know, the keywords that I mentioned, you know, like the health support worker, recruitment agency, nursing agency, home care agency. Uh, you could put supported living, you can put um, nursing agency, medical staffing agency, recruitment agency, uh, recruitment international nurses. You can use all of the keywords of the types of contracts that you're looking to get for your organization. So I've just got a few listed here and I'm gonna click, and I've left it as all locations. For example, I'm leaving the regions because I, I want to look at all of the contracts. You can even narrow them down to the regions of where you are as well as postcodes. But I'm looking for contracts uh, all around the UK, for example. You can even look at awarded contracts. Now, if you look at awarded contracts, you can also look at approaching those organizations for contracts, for them to subcontract with you, okay? So I've ticked here, I've got early engagement, future opportunities, for example, and opportunities, and I'm going to click search. and it should open up onto another page. And then it's given me the results. So you should be able to see the screen that I'm on. I just wanna make sure that you can see where I am. Yes, excellent. So as you can see here, it's given me 868 results, but you can use lots of lots more keywords, okay? Don't just go on just what I've just, done really you should do like up to 20 20 keywords for example so hopefully you should be on this page where i am okay and you'll see the accommodations 
sorry, the accommodations, you'll see the uh, contracts here. So if you're doing care homes, then you put care homes. If you're doing supported living, supported living. If you're doing um, recruitment for international nurses, then you do the same there as well. Dependent living, let's have a look here. So you need to look at the, um, the contracts just to make sure, because if you're not registered with CQC and they say that you must be registered with CQC, for example, then if you're not, then there's no point you looking. You want to look for ones which are where it says for recruitment agencies providing medical staff non-clinical. You can put in as a keyword non-clinical staff or clinical staff for nurses, non-clinical for healthcare workers, for example. Um, always look to make sure that the contract says it's suitable for SMEs as well, okay? And then always read the description because that will tell you what it's for and whether you're able to provide the service, for example. It will also tell you how to apply. Then you can then um, express an interest and click um, submit the interest and then you have to download all of the documents, read through the documents, scrutinize it, make sure that you match all of the criteria as well. So I'm just gonna go back to the search results. Uh, that one was for care support, independent living, for example. Then there's DPS, which is a dynamic purchasing system. And this is for temporary worker agencies, for example. Closing date for this is the 19th of July. So there's not much time on this. It will tell you when it's uh, started and when it's closing date, when it must be submitted by. And it doesn't go over that, but it says, how long the contract is for as well. So for example, scroll down a bit more, it says it's suitable for SMEs. Just reading through. So it's asking to offer a recruitment managed service approach to temporary interim recruitment needs. And this is with the um, Birmingham Council, for example. And then it will tell you to visit that uh, portal, for example, for the opportunities. So like it says, uh, this is with the commercial services. So express an interest, it's saying to, you may need to register first, which you will need to. And it just tells you who the buyer is, for example. And then it tells you what the portal is. You just click the links and then you then go to where it is and then you become a supplier, you register, for example. So that is uh, one example. I'll just go back to the presentation slide. So like I said, use the keywords. Okay, so that's how you get, um, you can apply. Then you can look at another one, which is LPP, NHS.UK Frameworks. And this is the London Procurement Partnership. And you click that link. And then it takes you to this page and I just wanna make sure that you can see what I'm showing you. So this is the page that it takes you to. And then you can look at, you're looking at providing workforce. Okay, so here you can look at the categories 
there's clinical digital solutions. There's also estate facilities and professional services, medicines, pharmaceuticals, workforce. And this is where you're providing clinical, non-clinical staff, for example, international healthcare professionals, recruitment and associated services, learning and training services, non-clinical temporary fixed term staff, occupational health, permanent recruitment, provision of clinical and healthcare staffing, workforce services, for example. Um, it will also mention about the frameworks and the pipelines that is new and upcoming. I'll just put that link in here. So you can register as a supplier as well. And this just tells you about the, the video, for example. It gives you some instructions because it says NHS LPP delivers services that helps hospitals to run efficiently. And, you know, just look at these videos about what it is, what do they do? They, they have over uh, 400 people, for example, sorry, 400 um, NHS, for example, or organization types that are looking to for suppliers like yourselves. So you always want to become a supplier. And then you then register on, it will take you to this page, which is Proactus, which is where it takes everyone to, for example, but there's various portals that go to different pages, for example. And then you, what you do is you then register, but you can also find opportunities here by looking at the keywords, keywords like what I mentioned, as well as more. You need to play around with the keywords and look at trying different keywords then you're then building a list of uh, contracts that you want to apply for then you then change the keywords and then apply for more as well i'll just close my facebook page otherwise i may get a call coming through so that is um the the lpp you need to register as well there's some useful links here which is the national Contracts register as well. This just takes you to awarded. These are people that have been awarded contracts that you as an organization can look at approaching for work. Because what you want to do, especially when you just start out, you want to look at how you can get some credibility. Because some of the contracts is going to say, you're going to need three references to apply for contracts, for example. They want to see a proven track record, for example. That's another example. So how can you do that when you just started out? You can do that by looking to subcontract with organizations so that you can use them as a reference. Like, for example, when you go in the gym, if you was to go into the gym and you, you want to be like really fit, for example, yeah? You're not going to go up and pick up a 100 pound weight. You're not going to do that straight away, are you? You're going to start off with a smaller weight that you can cope with and that you can manage. And then you build up your strength so that you're then able to lift that heavy weight. And that's the same for you in this business. You don't want to get a massive contract straight away when you don't even know how to manage a team. You don't even know how to, you know, be able to, to cope with the contract because when you're dealing with vulnerable people, you don't want to let them down. So you've got to really build yourself up, your muscles up, so that you're able to know how to run your business, manage your team, manage the service, deliver the service, that staff members are compliant and competent as well so that you are able to deal with the larger contracts at that point. 
So I hope that makes sense to you. So I'll just put that in the link there for you to see. Uh, let's have a look here. Let me go back to the slide. So I'll just do the slide, go back to that. And uh, like I said, you will, for those of you that have registered and that have stayed, then you will get this recording, okay? If you do need to, uh, to, to come off, you may be at work or whatever, during, this could be your lunchtime, for example, then that's fine. As long as we've seen that you've been on, then you will get a recording of this video, okay? So I just wanted to point that out for those of you that's come in, um, because I know there's quite a few of the, you that are probably wondering whether you get this recording or not. This is live because I'm here. Okay, so I'm going to continue. So register with uh, the London Procurement Partnership. Look for the smaller contracts, like I said, and you will be able, thank you, thank you, and God bless you too, thank you you will be able to apply for the smaller contracts. That's how I did in my own business. I, I had, I ended up with five, 6,000 hours a week. And you can do the same as well, but you've got to build up the business to be able to deal with the, the bigger volume and deal with the bigger contracts. So, <clears throat> 